Here we are cooking up the ultimate upgrade to your Dell XPS 15. We have a two terabyte solid state drive and 64 gigabytes of RAM. And I'm gonna show you how to put it in your Dell. Let's jump right in. It's always good to protect the top when working on these things as you'll be flipping the laptop over. And I would say it's extremely important to um, yeah, just put something on there, whether it's a pad or you're having a towel. Um, you definitely want to protect the surface as, uh, you know, as far as from getting scratches and dents and so forth. So I'm just going to use a, a little pad that I'm having, but you can use, like I said, a towel or anything that you're having uh, available um, in order to uh, when, you know, really protect this once you're working on it. And effectively having a um, nice clean surface uh, when you're doing this upgrade is extremely important um, as well as having the right tools and I'll be putting all the relevant links and what you need and what I've been using here uh, as far as my um, tools and the different um, hardware that I'm using and, and so forth to help with performing this upgrade. So I'm going to start off um, with inspecting everything, right? So um, first and foremost, we're going to have um, these screws holding the back cover. So effectively here, um, we're going to have here on, on this cover, which is a, the, the bottom of the, the laptop, um, we're going to have these, um, these Torx bits and it's a T5 bit that's going to open the back of this. So make sure before performing this that you're having a, a relevant toolkit and the right bits. Um, if we're trying to attempt this, don't try to use a T4 or, or jam a T6 in there. That's definitely the wrong move. Um, these screws are very vital and um, you know just make sure you have a small bin where you can keep these away um, and put these away as you perform it. So I'm going to jump right in and um, I'm going to take off these T5s, put one down, this is the second one, and as I take this out, maybe I can explain why I'm upgrading and uh, effectively cooking this ultimate dish up for the Dell XPS 15. I use my laptop for um, video editing and photo editing and it's been really great but I knew that I wanted to upgrade this myself. It's one of the benefits of you know a Dell and a Windows system um, versus let's say a, a Mac that uh, I wanted to take advantage of and uh, this is a lot of fun effectively um, you know taking your base system and um, really putting it on a performance level from a memory and RAM standpoint uh, and just such a, a different um, high performing machine and I knew coming in that I wanted to save the money um, you know a lot of people talk about the Apple tax but uh, there's also a smaller Dell tax and um, I wanted to effectively use um, you know the laptop in such a in such a manner where I could get the base laptop and knew that um, it was going to suit my needs for a while, and then upgrade. And um, I noticed, especially in the photo editing, um, having this kind of extra RAM and video editing and rendering, having this extra RAM would really help out. And um, that's why I'm really excited. Uh, 32 um, <laughs> gigabytes would probably be okay. Um, but really 64 is taking this to another level So I'm going to show you the trick of how I got the tool in here. Um, I took actually a few tries So don't give up um, I found that the best area is actually located here where the power LED was I was able to stick this tool into that uh, location right here and again make sure you're having something soft and then just starting to to go and going along the line of the laptop effectively right so this will now just going around the bezel slowly really taking it easy uh, and making sure that you don't use your fingers because you can cut yourself um, so just going along now this line and then I'm going to take the top cover off
So what I just did was I started this way and worked myself slowly, right, from the center, the power LED, worked myself slowly to one side and then down. And then also on this side, work myself to the corner edge and then down. And this was then the trick and now the cover pops off. And um, you know, I, just having everything here, um, it's super accessible. Um, of course, you're having the battery, which is the first thing we're going to unplug. Um, then we're going to have the SSD slots, and this is what I'm currently having already. And we're also going to be upgrading the SSD here. And we're also having the RAM, uh, two slots for the RAM. And uh, again, I got the, the, the base set up uh, with my Dell XPS. So, um, you know, really stepping up to this level, uh, it's going to have a lot of benefits. But, um, you know, before I jump in, I actually want to also look at the back of this um, laptop. I mean, it's just, this case is just very, very well made. And uh, you can see from a you know, cooling standpoint, and really the engineering of how this is put together. This is not a flimsy piece. This is a very premium piece and uh, very much appreciated from Dell. And, uh, you know, this is a quality piece that, you know, from taking it on and off, you can feel that it was sturdy and robust. So I'm going to set this aside again. Don't just throw this away. You don't want to scratch the finishing as well. You want to take care of your Dell and um, that's you know something you want to be mindful as you're going through this this operation and uh, you know like I said um, having everything ready and to go is super important so right here in the connector here that's a battery and you just need to work you know get your nail in there and just work it slowly off and sometimes wiggling a little bit the the cable helps kind of get it out of the way. And now that it's out of the way, um, you know that uh, the battery is disconnected from the system. So that's, uh, you know, from a safety standpoint, super important to do. So now I'm gonna grab my RAM and open it up. This should be very um, simple and straightforward. Um, so again, these are the two RAM slots for this, so this just pops to the side and pops open and tilts on a, I would say like a 45 degree angle. So you would then take these out, pull these out, you can see. And there's two of these that need to be installed in these DDR2 slots. So let's just put these in and they're keyed. There's a key here, so you can't put it on the wrong way. You again put it in this 45 degree angle and then push it down, then it clips. So I'm going to do two of them. That's popping up. And putting in a new one. Again, it's keyed, right? So that's a key and it goes right there. And just push it in. And that's it, right? So that was a quick upgrade. Again, anyone can do this. Um, this is really not a topic. So if you're just looking for a RAM upgrade, it's that easy. You literally then put back the battery, put back the cover, and that's it. But again, I told you guys I'm cooking up the ultimate upgrade. So we're also going to go after the memory. So the next step is taking your SSD, your two terabyte and installing it same thing it goes in a 45 degree angle and there's a key on it so you effectively just put it into the slot how it's keyed and then push down just making sure it's in there there it is you're gonna click and then you push it down then you put I have two dot two in here, so to hold it down. And the laptop does not come with this, so again we'll update the links. But uh, if you don't have one of these screws, you have to source these 
uh, to ensure that the SSD is held down correctly. And there it is. Um, I'm also going to install, you can see here on the factory unit, there is some type of uh, cooling management, maybe some thermal management. And um, you know, the, the Samsung 970 EVO Plus um, NVMe have actually, um, uh, is also having some thermal protection already. Um, so definitely look at, you know, what you're purchasing from a SSD standpoint. Um, but, you know, I, I, from a kind of life of the drive, I do want to um, still add additional ones. And I'm not going to take away this uh, label, right, which is effectively going to void the warranty. Um, I'm going to install, uh, and I'll link that again on, on the video. Uh, I'm going to install also myself um, the thing that I got from Amazon as far as a, a cooling pad, thermal pad, and um, having a copper kind of thermal um, cooling system here as well, right? So, so I'm going to, looks very similar to the Dell solution, but with the Dell, it's actually mounting uh, directly on the, um, the SSD. And uh, with this one, we're going to be sticking one of these pads, these thermal pads, via two-sided um, adhesive, right? So we're gonna put it here. So not covering any of the critical parts. So we're gonna have the screw still readily accessible and also uh, going to be able to then uh, install this on top of it so that you're not blocking the screw. And um, this again, it's not a requirement, uh, but it's something that um, I'm doing and I'm also recommending um, in order to help cool and keep the life of the SSD um, you know, for, for long use because these things effectively do um, run hot and um, you know, cooling it of course supports the overall life of the drive. So I'm taking, you know, this kit comes with um, two pads thicknesses and let's see if the camera can catch it but uh, you know effectively the lighter blue is much thicker than the deeper blue and I'm going to be using the deeper blue just on top like this and uh, it should be taking care of it so going to be Taking the adhesive protection off, the thermal pad, and just lightly applying it, right? You want to make sure it's on there straight. And it's really critical that you have access to the M2 bolt, so you don't want to hinder that and that, that looks good there so I put down the copper pad um, so you can see from a kind of standpoint very similar right this uh, cooling pad on top now of the thermal plate and um, you know from a profile standpoint it feels very similar right and there's no blocking from the access of the small Phillips. So um, effectively, I would think a, a great upgrade. And this should help the overall life of the drive. I'm actually going to also install the, the kit that I got. I have these kind of two, might be a little bit hard to see, two clear. Um, bands let's see if we can we use the uh, box here right so you can see these two clear bands they wrap around the drive 
and hold this all together. I'm going to install it because I think it is going to help secure the overall package together. Um, I don't necessarily think it's needed, but maybe for things like, you know, overall rattling, um, you know, might be an issue. So um, no one has really complained about it, but I think it's a good idea and um, I'm not against it. So I'm going to do it now and take the drive out. And then install these two bands. And again, this is, um, you know, very critical. So you don't want to pry or anything. You just want to kind of slowly work these rubber bands in to, um, to the drive. So just a lot of patience, right? So don't, um, you're not going to get this in the first try unless you've done this a few times. Um, even for me, right? So you just kind of slowly work it in there. And um, once it's in there, again, just slowly, slowly work it in. And I'm going to actually um, slide it across here um, as opposed to going on this side just because I don't like the idea of um, potentially um, you know clipping one of the active um, connecting points so what I'm doing now is just working it you know it's just rubber bands but again you know better safe than sorry Working it with your nails. Definitely glad I, I didn't cut my nails short for this video because having nails is making it super easy. Just working it. It's a good location now for one of them. And then I'm going to again install one more time on this side. Again, see, like once you kind of get one, it's much easier to do the next one, like anything. And everything looks great. So, very thin package, I would say. Very nice and compact, and I would say secure. So, again, I'm going to try this now. I'm going to install it again on the keyed section. Make sure it clicks, just like that and then pushing it in so that should work then installation that's it so the next step will be um, the installation of the power and um, the cover and then we're going to turn the system on but you can already see how simple this process was especially if you're having the right tools the right hardware as far as the m2.2 screw and um, also you know just some quality parts and uh, some time so don't rush through this um, this was a super simple upgrade again everyone can do this and uh, really you know, taking this from the base RAM and the base storage capacity all the way up to an amazing storage capacity of two terabytes and a RAM of 64 gigabytes. So this is going to be an absolute monster. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the channel. Until next time.